Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover a unit from Advanced Formulas module, uh, and the unit that we are going to take up is Use Pick List in Formulas. So the concept which uh, we are going to take over here will be of validation rule, and how we can use Pick List field values in our validation rules to give out the error messages. So basically, the validation rule that we are going to build will be on case object name. We are going to give mark as escalated, and this validation rule will fire when a user tries to escalate a case which is either in the case uh, status closed or the priority is not high so if i simplify it for the more you can say that if a case is escalated and status is closed then also the then this error message will come up or if the case status is, uh, sorry, if case is escalated and priority is not equal to high, then also this message will come up, which is you can, uh, you can only set a case as escalated if it is in high priority and not closed. So we are going to build this uh, logic in our on our case object. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground, which I've already done over here and go to setup. From there, we are going to go to object manager and in the quick find, I'm just simply going to type case, select case object and now scroll a little bit. There is this validation rules and just uh, we have to create a new one. So click on new button. Now the name that we are going to give is the uh, mark as escalated. So I'll just copy this and going back to here, just paste this over here. Now, moving on to the error condition formula. So the first thing that we have to keep in mind is if you will notice when I tried to simplify this uh, scenario over here, if you notice that every time in I presented two cases, right? So every time I said, or I was checking whether our case has been escalated or not. So if you get the gist of it is uh, that we have to make sure that is escalated or uh, whether the case is escalated or not, we have to check in every scenario. So for that, we are going to uh, use and function from a right hand side function list and just click on insert selected function. Now for logic one, I'm going to simply check whether our case is escalated or not. And for that, we have to select first this logical one text value. Then go to insert field and there is this field. Uh, if you go to E alphabet, there's this field by the name escalated and API name is escalated. So you, we have to insert this. So this is the field which checks whether our case has been escalated or not. It's a checkbox type of uh, type of field. So this is the first thing that we are going to check over here. Now, the second thing is or you can say is escalated, we are checking in every scenario, whether our case is in uh, status closed or priority is not high. So this is being checked every time. Now, the next thing is we have to make sure uh, that this comes in either case, right? So in either case, what, what is the operator that we use? It is or. So for logic, logical two, I'm going to use or uh, function from right hand side. So select or and click on insert selected function. So logical two text will be replaced by or function. Now inside this or I'm going to place these two condition that this can be true or this can be true, but it should always uh, in order to fire this validation rule, this should uh, either of these two conditions should be true with is escalated one. Right. So let's just go back and add our very first logical uh, over here. So as you know that uh, we are going to add, this is a pick list field value. Status is pick list field. So what we are going to do, how we can add a pick list field value in our uh, validation rule is we have to uh, go to our functions. And there is this function which goes by the name is pick val. So if you go to I alphabet and scroll a little bit, there is this is pick val. And the syntax that it takes up is uh, is pick val. And in the bracket, we have to put out a pick list field. 
separated by a comma, there is this text literal. So here the uh, field on which we want uh, to fetch the value will come over here. In our case, it will be status and text literal uh, on which our validation rule will be fired uh, in our case is closed. So let's quickly add this uh, pick list uh, is pick val function inside our validation rule. Now for the pick list field, I have to select a status. So let's go to select this pick list field uh, text uh, text coming up over here, then go to insert field and here I'm going to go to S alphabet and select this status field over here, click on insert. So this field uh, will get uh, inserted on this place. Now for the text literal, I will just simply uh, place two inverted commas, single inverted commas and inside that I'm going to add closed. Make sure you type the correct spelling, which is closed. Now, this was the uh, first, uh, first condition in our OR case, right? Now, for logical two, I will be adding the second condition, which was priority is not high. So let's just go back over here in logical two. I will add the uh, field or uh, first of all, before field, I will add the function. So again, uh, it will be pick list type of field. Uh, priority is a pickless type of field. But if you will notice over here, it is in negation or it has not high, right? So we are going to use pickless same function over here, but with a negation. And for negation, what do we use is not operator. So instead of logical two, just select this logical two and here go to functions again and just go to not function, click on insert. Now, the syntax for this is simple. Just we have to uh, put out the logic inside this. So again, we are, uh, so priority is a pickless type of value. So I'll go to is pick val function again and select this is pick val over here. Now, pickless field is priority. So I will select this and go to insert fields, go to P alphabet and scroll a little bit. There is this priority, click on insert. The text literal that we are going to use here will be high. So in the single inverted comma, just write high. Remove extra comma dots and everything. So these are uh, these. Uh, this is the first thing that I'm removing, which is comma and three dots. Make sure you are very careful with the uh, brackets and thing, right? So this is the, final uh, logic that we are going to implement. So if you will see that in AND, there are two conditions broadly. If you see broadly, there are two conditions. So this is the first condition and this whole is the second condition. So in the first condition, every time it is going to check whether our case has been escalated or not. If this is true, if our case has been escalated, if this checkbox is true, then it will check for this condition. and. In this condition, it is uh, written inside or operator. So either this can be true or if it, uh, or if this is true, right? Either of these true, uh, if either of these two, any of them is uh, true, then this is going to give out an error. So let's just quickly uh, check syntax over here. So we are good with the syntax, no errors found. And now let's just copy this error message that we have to place, copy this, and this error message has to be displayed under escalated field. So let's scroll a little bit, place this in the error uh, message, and we have to place this, this error should uh, come up wherever this validation rule is fire up, uh, we have to place this error uh, just below the escalated field. So select this field, uh, uh, this uh, checkbox over here, and from the drop down, I have to select the escalated field over here. So in uh, E alphabet, there is this escalated. So every time this validation rule will fire, this error will come just below the field escalated. So that's all we had to do. Just click on save and let's move on to testing. So go back to your app launcher here and just type case. Select this. Now here, uh, let's say I have this all closed cases. I'm going to, uh, first of all, let's test the scenario in all ca uh, closed cases, right? So I will open up this first case that we have. Okay, before we test, uh, there was one more thing that we have to place this uh, is escalated or escalated field on our page layout. So just go to case page layouts and go to case layout. 
then here uh, in the field just type for escalated so there it is uh, scroll down to the field section area so if i'll place this over here now click on quick save and this will be saved now we have to refresh this as if now escalated field is not coming up over here so after refreshing it should come up so there it is uh escalated has been added now our validation rule will fire every time case is escalated and either of these two condition is true so here i'm going to select is escalated and if you notice that there were two condition uh, first first one was First one was, uh, it was checking if status is closed. So if you will see over here, our status is closed. And the second condition is in all that priority not equal to high. So we are keeping the priority high over here. But since it is in all, these two conditions is in all, uh, these two conditions are in all. So this is true. So this is going to definitely fire our validation rule. And we must get the error if this is working fine. Click on save. There you go. So escalated is true and status is closed. So this is giving the error. So that is why we are getting the same error over here. Now, next scenario that we are going to test over here, let's say closed is not closed, it is a new and priority is not equal to high. So we are uh, taking up medium, right? So in this case also, it should fire that you cannot escalate the uh, uh you can only escalate the high priority cases in our case this is not high priority so this is going to give out an error so if i'll try to save it again there you go error came up now if i try to keep this status as new right so this condition is false this has become false we are keeping the status as new now priority is not equal to high but in our case, we are keeping this as high. Now, if you will see this, uh, this scenario is also false. In our, in our uh, condition, we are saying that priority is not high, then the uh, validation error will come up, but we are keeping the priority as high. So this is also, uh, this has also become false. And if I try to save this, this time it should save successfully. That's how our validation rule works. So whenever in your real-time scenario as well, do speak up uh, to yourself that what actually you want and what actually uh, the logic is performing. That way, this gives out a real big picture and clear picture in your mind because sometimes this, these validation rules gets really tricky to understand that when error will come up, what should I do or what logic should I implement? Let's just quickly click on check challenge button and hopefully we should be able to pass this challenge. Let's just wait. There you go. This unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. If you like our videos or explanation, make sure you like our channel and subscribe it. Thank you so much.